when I came back to WWE, he said, uh, uh, listen, um, I'm going to have this company for a lot longer than you think, Mr. Angle. Uh, I'm 73 right now. Uh, my mom lived to be 101. I plan on being, uh, living till I'm 120. Well, he says, there we go. All right, y'all. Well, there we go. That, that just, that's, yeah. Ain't that right, Kurt? I told you. I'm not going nowhere, pal. I'm going to be doing this until 120, maybe 130. No one's going to outlive me. I'm going to keep doing this until I can't no more. In fact, I may never die because I'm God. What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back again with another video. So, we're going to check out Joe in uh, Kurt Angle. He's only two years younger than uh, uh, Biden. He's talking about the president, Joe Biden. Uh, must be talking about Vince McMahon and his age. Uh, you guys definitely enjoyed uh, me checking out uh, the clip of Kurt Angle talking about his drug addiction at one point. So, I definitely wanted to talk, talk about this because Vince McMahon the dude has been around for a very long time and uh been in in charge of wwe for a long time as well and it looks like he you know he's gonna continue uh doing that until he can't do it no more until he physically can't do the day-to-day -day operations he's going to keep doing it as long as his body holds up so we're gonna talk or oh, check this out by uh kurt angle uh appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing Let's get right into this one, man. What is it like working for Vince? That guy's got to be a fucking... I mean, he, I, we need to get him in here. Yeah. You know what? That's a good idea. I would cause... love to get him in here. Especially now that he's got this uh, relationship with the UFC. Now that they're... Uh, is that thing working? That would be interesting. Having uh, uh, Vince McMahon on the Joe Rogan podcast. That would be kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. That interview would be crazy as hell. Hmm. Yeah, it's uh um you know what Vince Vince is very very oh, talented. He um he uh he's a workaholic though. Very 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 much a workaholic. Oh, clearly. Yeah, he uh he works 7 days a week. Um even when he's on vacation, he makes his writers go down to the vacation with him. Wow. <laughs> so they're they're so either no sitting vacations. in a hotel room or on the beach talking about work. Wow. He's working. Sitting <laughs> on vacay over here, still trying to book the show. A lot of times, still don't be that good. Vince, just focus on your vacay. Focus on the beach. Focus on the vibes. Focus on having a good time. Let somebody else book the show. Like Triple H or somebody else. Just relax. You're over here booking a show on a beach somewhere. And the show still comes out mediocre. Like, just relax, Vince. It's for chill. <laughs> Working 24-7. And he's in his 70s. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's crazy? When he's done, he goes to work out when he gets home, which, like, when he's on the road traveling, TVs are over at midnight. He'll, he'll go to the gym at 1 o'clock, train till 3. He'll go Damn. to sleep from, from 4 to 6. Then he'll wake up and he can just uh, repeats the cycle. What? He only sleeps two hours a day. I don't know. It's I don't know. Real. What? Vince. I get it. I get it, man. You this is your baby, so you gotta make sure, you know, it's it's running as smooth as possible. But Vince, relax. Hey, there's one thing we we can all agree on. Whether we like Vince McMahon or not, the dude works his ass off for WWE. Whether it's in the best interest or not. The dude be putting in the grind, even at this age, hands on with the company and what we see. Whether we agree with it or not, you got to respect it. Dude's in his 70s and out here only getting two hours of sleep because the other rest of the day, rest of the, the, the hours in the day, he's working on WWE related stuff and then he works out and then he gets some sleep. That's insanity he's, he's the real deal he, he's a workaholic man he, he's a machine 
And he's created an entire universe that people, generations and generations, grandfathers, their sons, and their sons all have their favorite people and favorite things that have happened. I, 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 I love the guy. I love the guy. He's always treated me right. Um, I never had a problem with Vince. Uh, he, he is... I'm just glad he got the money he got because I never thought he was going to sell the company. I thought he was, he, you would have to. I, I really, I think a lot of us didn't think he was going to ever sell the company. I never thought Vince would ever sell the company. I thought that was just going to be something he hold and then, uh, you know, maybe his children inherited and Stephanie and Shane, but he was never going to sell. I didn't think that. And when he actually did, I was like, huh, it's very interesting. Take it from his cold dead hands, pry it from his cold dead hands, yeah. you know, when he died. I really thought he was going to keep the company forever. And uh, yeah, I saw the so. meme the other day. He bought it. I can't remember the exact numbers, but for one million in whatever, 1982 from his father, one he million, bought it. Yeah. And to it, nine billion. The, yep, nine yeah. billion at the valuation last week. <laughs> wow. One million to nine billion. That's. Bought it from his dad for one mil. And the investment on it is now worth over probably nine billion dollars. And once again, I understand why it's just something he he's works on it seven days a week because he's always trying to grow it. He's always trying to make it the best it possibly can be, even though eh, whether he succeeds at that, that is uh, <laughs> up to your interpretation. But financially, he has succeeded 10 times over. It is a billion-dollar company, for sure. It's not even close. It's how he's a been able to achieve that and consistently keep growing it financially. Wow. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. put his heart and soul into it, though. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, obviously. It just, it just goes to show you, nobody becomes that successful unless they're fucking driven yeah. insane work that work ethic there's yeah. no other way there's yeah. no other way you're absolutely right Facts. that's crazy no one works harder than he does two hours sleep in your 70s yeah <laughs> i know wild <laughs> i mean i need eight now <laughs> <laughs> i need eight i just don't i don't get it i mean it's incredible He's i don't know machine. how you can function like that yeah he works out continuously He's fucking jacked yeah He's jacked and he's in his seventies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he actually he might be. Uh, How old is he, Jamie? He's got to be closer to eighty, right? He's pushing it. Let me see a picture of him now. That's fucking bananas. That's the real canary in the coal mine. Mm -hmm. Yes, he, he is. He just turned seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Seventy-eight. Okay, jacked, you know you know what he told me when I night. came back to WWE. He said, uh, uh, "Listen, um, I'm going to have this company for a lot longer than you think, Mr. Angle." Uh, I'm 73 right now. Uh, my mom lived to be 101. I plan on being uh, living till I'm 120. Well, he says, "There we go. All right, y'all. Well, there we go. That, that just, that's, yeah, ain't that right, Kurt? I told you, I'm not going nowhere, pal." I'm going to be doing this until 120, maybe 130. No one's going to outlive me. I'm going to keep doing this until I can't no more. In fact, I may never die because I'm God. <laughs> Too far? I don't know. Vince does definitely have the god complex the fact that you could tell someone and i'm sure kurt angle didn't just say oh you're gonna lose this company i'm sure vince just decided to let kurt angle know of all people my mom lived to 101 which is really fantastic for someone to live that long to have your mom for that long is truly a blessing but the fact he just so ego driven to tell kurt hey my mom lived to 101 so I'm probably going to live to a 120 easy. Like, that's just something slight. I'm just, just wild, bro. We got to listen to that again. That's just wild. Longer than you think, Mr. Angle. That's uh, wild, I'm 73 bro. right now. Uh, my mom lived to be 101. I plan on being, uh, living till I'm 120. He said, so. <laughs> he, and he said, I'm never letting the company go. I'm always going to, I'm always going to be working here. Uh, and and it's, they're gonna have to pull it from my cold pry, dead hands, my pry from my cold dead hands. He really uh, Vince, 
Uh, that's Crazy. that's what keeps him going. This is why I'm a little not nervous, but what's he gonna do now? What's he gonna do now? Because his whole life was wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. Isn't he still involved in the company though? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's still. Okay, I heard he the... stepped back from the creative position. Kind of, but that's what he says, right? Okay, that's okay. what they so say. You gotta wonder true. with him how much of it is a storyline. <laughs> exactly. I'm back! Right. You know? God <laughs> you know? damn it. If I want it done right, I have to do it myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See him fucking walking yeah. in there. Uh, and... The power walk. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's just a fucking maniac. I mean, the head of creative on paper is Triple, Triple H, H, who yeah. is, is his son in law, who, I mean, that's the most like dominant. I mean, it's, that's his former employee like he's yeah. got triple h no no i i guess if triple h is head of creative this then, then, recent, then vince is look at him the head of creative <laughs> look at yeah. that picture of him in his 70s that's his personal trainer that travels with him everywhere that's wild at all day all night yep worked wow. out at 3 a.m wow 3 a.m after raw wow yeah. insane 3 a.m workouts despite well, being i wasn't 76. wrong it was 3 a.m <laughs> Yes, that was only two years ago. So he was 76 there with a fucking big motorcycle chain around his neck. That's wild, bro. He's jacked. He is, man. That, that Goddamn dude. right I'm jacked, bud. <laughs> that, that is incredible. Special. That's incredible. It's just incredible that you could keep doing that. But I guess if you don't stop, you know, you eat the right foods, take the right supplements, wink, wink. And just keep <laughs> <laughs> make some trips to Mexico. <laughs> you can keep that fucking trainer rolling, like the fucking Aerosmith song. Train kept a rolling all night long. Look at him there, squatting almost a thousand Belt pounds. Squat, thousand pounds. Belt squat thousand pounds at seventy six. I mean that's Jeez. fucking bonkers. That's, that's wild, bonkers. bro. Good for him. Fuck wow. yeah. There's that's very wild. few humans like that out there. They there's just there's have only that kind one of drive. Vince. I could tell you that. There's only one Vince. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and he's I, in... I've seen him at his best and his worst, and that guy, he's he's unbelievable. I mean, he is um, he's the hardest working and most dedicated person I've ever been been around. Like he really is. He he sticks to his diet. Uh, he works all day. He makes sure he gets his workout in. Everything is like a line for him. Everything has to go a certain way for Vince. He has to have everything lined up just perfectly, you know? He's just a, he's an animal. He really is. He's an animal. Clearly. Yeah. I that's, mean, that's what he looks that's like. wild. You don't look like that when you're 76, unless you're a fucking complete psycho. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and again, the creativity, like it never ends. He puts out two, three hours of content every Monday for 30, what is it, 30? Five years now or something 30 crazy? 30 something years, yeah. Here's and, something to think about. Yeah. 30 years. He's two 30 years younger than Biden. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's fucking insanity, bro. Wow, man. That's a big difference. <laughs> Jeez, the <laughs> least. With kidding. everything, not just his body, but the, the mental, mind. Sh- mental sharpness. Yeah, yeah the mental yeah, sharpness. Yeah. I mean, that's just incredible. He's still sharp as a, as a rock. I mean, he really yeah. is. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Island rocks are sharp. <laughs> a jaded rock. Saying, though. <laughs> like a flint stone that they used to cut <laughs> mammoth meat with. <laughs> diamond, perhaps. Yeah, something sharp. <laughs> are diamonds really that sharp? <laughs> uh, they, I guess they can be. Diamond drills, diamond mm. drill bits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they're just hard, really. But yeah, I know what you're saying. It's just that it's just extraordinary when you see someone who's such an outlier. I mean, yeah. if you got all the 78 year old guys on earth, that's number one. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's like, if you, if you had yeah. to ask me, like, who's the fittest, most driven, on top of it, 78 year old guy, like, Vince McMahon. Vince, yeah. 100%. <laughs> Who, who's competing with him? Who the fuck else? Who's out right. there? You would have heard know. of him. If there's another guy like that out there, you yeah. would have heard of him. Mm-hmm. No, you're right. There's only one Vince. I know that yeah. for sure. Yeah. What a maniac. And with this new union, man, I mean, this is something that I've been talking about for a while is like the power of and how close the UFC and the WWE can be. That's insanity, bro. The dude, it's, like I said, what do you love him or hate him? You got to respect his work ethic. Vince will he he will not go without a fight to make sure WWE is the best possible brand it can be. <laughs> so but comment down below let me know what other videos you guys want me to check out if i haven't checked out 
already i would definitely check it out for you guys but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel world 250k still young to be the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace